Alrighty folks, Polly here, and you're looking at Burger King, home of the Whopper. What, I, what I'm going to do is try something that I'll probably never try again, and that'd be the Impossible Whopper. I'm really kind of nervous about it. Now remember, I did eat a, an egg with the partially developed duck in it even had feathers but I'm really kind of I know this impossible whopper kind of makes me nervous <laughs> as it should so let's go and order in the drive through Okay, how can I help you? Yeah, could I get an Impossible Whopper and a large lime coke? An Impossible Whopper and a large lime coke? Yep. 946, first window. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Almost $10 for an Impossible Whopper. Thank you. That's where we're at. I was going to sit out there in the park, but it's windy, way too windy. It's too windy in here. So we're just gonna do this here in the in the fiesta and have a festive time. So yeah, let's just talk about this. In a bag, food in a bag. They gave me some napkins. And something I want to see. Yes, it comes in its own wrapper. I was wondering if it would come in its own wrapper or if it would be, a, you know, just another Whopper wrapper. Back in the day, the Whopper would come, you know, they'd give it to you and it would be in a styrofoam box. Due to the demonization of styrofoam, they stopped doing it. Kind of funny because Sonic still uses styrofoam cups. It's windy. Of course it's by the water. Someone someone wasted some charcoals. Anyhow, let's open this up. And, I don't know. It don't smell real great. But I'm looking, looking at the burger patty. And I'm dropping stuff all over my car. Onion tastes okay. Um, the hamburger patty looks like something that was stamped out of a machine and just looking at it right here like that that's what it looks like uh, it's a plant-based patty you know soy all that stuff sesame sesame seed bun kind of interesting to look at at least it's bigger than no, it's big and round still. Not a little tiny thing. That's a nice setup. <laughs> I 
Let's go for it. Lime coke. I don't know. I need, I need to stop thinking that I'm eating a piece of cardboard because to me that's kind of like how I picture this tasting. You can think of things and get the taste <laughs> sometimes, you know. We got somebody else down there. <clears throat> Seems like everything at this park is either fenced off or torn up. Whatever. A blue tire. <laughs> See? Swings are removed. I don't understand it. All fenced off. I'll make up for this by making me a pizza tonight. <clears throat> now I think this I think this is an attempt to get people to stop eating meat. I don't think it, they don't. I don't think they give a crap about your health. This is an attempt to stop eating meat. <laughs> I wonder if they made a steak out of this kind of stuff. But it's terrible if they did. <laughs> I wonder what the temperature is that it's got to be cooked at. I'm sure it's the same as the beef, but they don't do no medium rare or rare or medium they just cook them so i'm sure it's the same thing here but i'm wondering if there's a temperature requirement because i'm pretty sure these are frozen <clears throat> and usually anything frozen has got to be cooked to 165 degrees This gazebo pretty much saved this park. Well, they were going to shut down this park because of uh, operational costs. So of course, they take away from the people. 
when they can't afford or manage their own budget, the county was going to shut this down. But through donations, I think it was donations that built this thing. <clears throat> and with that, the county's able to rent that gazebo out. And with that rental money, it helps maintain this park to stay open. There's the last of it. Now to answer some questions. How was it? It's okay. Would you ever buy it again? Would you ever eat it again? As long as I can eat meat? No. I wouldn't buy that again. If the doctor says you can't eat no more meat, yeah, okay, I would, I would buy that. All right, folks, that's gonna be about it. Never trust a skinny cook, and until next time, I'm Paulie.